Hello everyone. Um, my name is Naz, um, and welcome to our podcast. Um, I'm here with my fellow colleagues. Joshua. Jim. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so we're here to talk about Mousetrap. Um, we've been working closely with Mousetrap for the last eight weeks, and um, yeah, we're just going to dive in and um, see what's taken our fancy, what hasn't, you know, and or how we can improve and, you know, um, progress for the future. So I'm going to start off with Gillian. Um, just a quick and easy one. Um, what made you interested in Mousetrap? The fire led me to become very interesting and I wanted to join to meet new people and to learn more about creativity. What did you enjoy in the Mousetrap project? Um, what did I enjoy? I enjoyed a lot of things. One thing, I enjoyed the consistency of like coming to the sessions and meeting everybody, like whether people had a good day or a bad day. It was nice that everyone was like supportive of each other so to still achieve the greater goal. And both in sessions and now sessions, just create like more of that family bond, which was nice. That, I would say that's right, actually, because um, like even me personally, I know I think I missed out one session, um, but before that, I know that like my friend Josh has touched upon um, creating that family bond, and um, basically, like I said again, just getting to achieve the greater goal, and um, yeah, got to meet people. Um, and yeah, this kind of um, you know experience um, other people's kind of thoughts and um, ways of thinking. So yeah, it was very very entertaining. So Nez, after such an eloquent speech, I want to ask you what was what skills did you gain? I gained quite a few skills, um, more so. Um, let's say li- listening skills and I'd say that I don't listen but you can always you're always improving that when we're in a group like you know um, to kind of respect each other's ways of being and actually you know like being in the session not talking over each other and stuff like that it gives you more time to actually listen and kind of make your own kind of opinion about what's just been said learning how to that bounce my more of my ideas off my colleagues and you know be creative in different ways any skills you learn Julian? yes and um, creativity and like having to come to the session however i don't know what i'm going to do on the same day or what topic and listen to other people answers and interacting in the section as well so Josh, I um, just want to ask you, what was your best moment throughout the project? The best moment for me personally was, was yeah, seeing, seeing the finished product when we did the little video. And like, I went into a very hesitant, very, I would even say pessimistic about like my skills and what I could actually um, contribute to the team. And but the team saw this and helped me get out of my head, showed me that you no, know, we're all nervous, you know, it's all teamwork. And like through that safe space, I was able to like get out of my comfort zone, uh, put on like a director's hat, which I haven't done before, and direct a video that, when finished, I was very much proud of. And it did give me that sense of, like, um, empowerment that, oh, wow, okay. Um, sometimes your greatest enemy can be yourself, and it's good to get out of your own way so that you can achieve the best results that you could, that was always possible. And, yeah, that whole realisation for me was my best moment. Would you say that, you know, you wasn't ready, but with everyone's kind of, um, say, empathy or, you know, 
people being there around um, kind of helped you get out of your comfort zone so that you can actually reach the goal that you wanted to. Yeah, like, you'll never feel ready in a sense. Like, you'll always be nervous, you'll always be, like, anxious. But it's more about seeing, like, thinking about the end result and pushing past that and having teammates that also see the end result and help you, help push you, help keep you on the right course and just like, hey, I understand. We under, we all understand and that's why we're all here to support you. Mm-hmm. It does make it a better journey from beginning to middle to end. Gillian. Gillian, Gillian. Yes. We do want to know, what was what advice would you give yourself if you were starting now? Like if you could go back into the past and be like, I've got some news for you, man. <laughs> Um, ask questions. Don't be nervous. And even when you are nervous, it's okay to be nervous. Just be yourself and come and meet everyone. Any advice for anyone wanting to join Mars Trap? Um, yeah, I would say so. Um, so very good experience it was. Um, very good project from start to end. Um, I mean, everyone that was here is um, was we, everyone got along like a house of fire. We had some laughs, we had some jokes. You know, we've been there to support each other, and we've kind. You're always in a in a in a place like this, or in an experience like this. You're always gonna have um, that kind of bond um, as a team, um, which is one of uh, my main things to be quite honest because if the team is dismantled then it's going to be hard to actually reach the goal but thank god for you know our um, our team members and our our, uh, teachers may I say you know um, that I've made the experience very memorable and for anyone wanting to join I kid you not this is one of the best um, things I've done probably from last year to now um, which has kept me going and it's always that when I come I know I'm here for a reason and I've always got a smile on my face Um, and yeah you're always you're given the tools that you need um, to help you get through and yeah so ready to join come and join Making it sound too good, man. There's gonna be a backlog of people coming in now. Yes. Oh man. Well, that's 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 the aim. That's the aim. No, oh, what you saying? What you were saying did touch me because, like, um, yeah, it's one thing I really liked about Mousetrap is it very much got you out of your own headspace mm-hmm. and like. You know, there can be a lot of obstacles, there can be a lot of negativity, there can be a lot of things that just make you not want to do. But as long as you show up, then the world is your oyster. And like, it really does show how, like they really show you how you can move on, move out, move like, beyond. Mm-hmm. And that's something that you can't like put a price on. So, Absolutely. yeah. I, I I mean even me I'm sitting here just like when I first when I first joined it was just okay something to do but the more I did it and after every um, session I was like no this is actually something worthwhile yeah. and the more I respect myself the more I should put into it because I am seeing results and I'm getting things out of it so yeah all in all it is like one of those few one of those few um, crossroads that can change the direction of your life from bad to good. And don't look so, don't judge a book by its cover. Definitely yeah, see absolutely. for yourself and read the story for yourself. Because you're the main character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With that action life. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you very much, guys, for being here on our Mousetrap podcast. And until next time, see you soon. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs>